G'day, welcome back. So we're back here with our 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe and uh, after 294,000 kilometres it's time for some new rear brakes. Uh, so I've already done one side and as you can see uh, yeah we, we, we're definitely in for some brakes. We're kind of, there's the other pad, it's uh, pretty much bang on 2 mil of uh, pad left which is exactly the wear limit. Uh, you'll see the, the wear spring, the screecher has broken off so maybe it's making a noise for a while I don't know the wife's car so um yeah we got some new ones to go on uh, I went with Duratec uh, this time I've never used Duratec before uh, Duratec used to make truck brakes commercial brakes and then a few years ago they started making car brakes so um, I thought I'd give them a go the price was right so uh, and they should be reasonable quality came from mixgarage.com not a sponsor and um, stick them on So as always, I don't make DIY videos, this is just me doing stuff on my car. Um, so yeah, this video is purely for entertainment purposes only. Um, but yeah, it might help you. Might give you some ideas, might show you where to get the bits from. Uh, Mixgearers.com and um, let's get it done. Right, so you might be wondering what tools you need. Uh, so we'll start from the top. I'll take the wheels off, 21mm nut. Uh, you also need a 14mm spanner. Got two different ones there. A flat blade screwdriver something to push the brake pistons back. I've got two different YMAC tools there. A uh, wire brush, some rags. I use red rubber grease for the caliper sliders. Um, I use anti-seize on my brake pads. You use what you want. And some uh, brake and parts cleaner. Right, so we're already up on axle stands, nice and safe, so we'll take the wheel off. Right, so here's our disc brake setup. Uh, we've got conventional disc brake here and there's a handbrake drum on the inside of the rotor. First thing I do is there's these two screws that hold the rotor on. Just going to get those loose once everything's together. Helps it, um, helps it come apart. So I'll just put the handbrake back on. So handbrake's on. Rimpack driver. Let's see how it's like there. Oh, we can actually undo them by hand, which is good. So I just want to loosen them. Crack them loose, job done. All right, next up, we'll take the caliper off the caliper carrier. It's a 14 mil. Shouldn't be too tight. Out. We're going to lift our caliper off. It sits quite nicely on top of that suspension arm, so you don't need to tie it up anywhere. And we can remove our old pads. Slightly more life left on those, should I say? Yeah, but not so much on that one, eh? <laughs> that one's, um, again, our screech is gone, uh, pads are down to not much. Yeah, might tell the wife to turn the stereo down. This slide bin is not very slidey, especially if you compare it to that one, this one here. Alright, so we'll need to fix that up. Right around the back here there's two 14mm bolts that hold the caliper carry on. Shouldn't be super tight. There that is. And next we can take our old rotor off. Take the rotor off. There's a couple of screws. Take the handbrake off and we'll take the disc off. Oh, 
Right, so this disc is um, stuck on the hub, so we need to get it off. Ching. There we go, this is off. So the contact surface of the rotor is just this thin kind of step bit here, so a little bit of corrosion makes it hard to come off, plus any lip on the drum. Let's give that a clean up. Alright, next we'll wind back our caliper piston. But first of all, we need to make sure we've got enough room in our brake fluid reservoir to accommodate a retracted piston. You see our levels down there. I don't know if you can see or not, but our max is up there, so we should have plenty of room. That lid is loose from the last one. So um, we'll retract the piston, check the level, put the lid on. That's done up here. Alright, so we just need to make sure our boot's clean and the whole kind of bits and pieces are all clean. Don't want to be retracting dirt in there. We'll set up to retract. Alright, we're all set up there. Got our old brake pad against the, the piston. Uh, everything's nice and clean. The tool's in, so we can just kind of nice and slowly wind it on in. Make sure the boot retracts evenly. Visual inspection, final bit of cleaning, put it back up there. Right, so here's our caliper carrier. Okay, so this one moved nice and freely. This one did not, there's a bit more movement in it now, I've been playing with it. Uh, so we'll pull this one out. You can see it's pretty, pretty grim, so we'll give that a clean up with some brake clean, then a wire brush, and uh, grease it up again. I had to do this on one of the fronts as well when I did the front brakes. It's uh, not something I've had to do very often. These things normally work in this country. Not as if we salt the roads or have rust anyway. As long as it's straight, which it is, we can clean it up. It should be right. So it does slide pretty cleanly, pretty nicely in that ball. There's a little bit of pitting on that. Yeah, for me, red rubber grease is the one to go. Something that doesn't attack rubber. It's made of rubber, so it should be good.
job done. We'll do the other one just because this one actually works fine. But we'll Made out of two different metals on high and eyes for some reason. Uh, the gold ones seem to not stick. There's no corrosion at all on that one. Let's give it a wee. Also got this brake hardware that we're just gonna reuse and again if you got some of the rust then you wouldn't normally reuse this but we don't rust so we reuse it ready to go back on. So the other thing we need to do is uh, adjust the handbrake shoes. Uh, they run inside the drum so the instructions say you kind of expand them with this adjuster here until they kind of stop the wheel from turning and then back it up five times. There is a hole to do that, we'll show you that in a second, but uh, I find it easier just to A, make sure the adjuster turns so and work out which way it turns. So this one, if you turn it What's that? Clockwise or anti-clockwise, you'll see, and um, then it expands outwards. So we'll just make sure it moves both ways. Which it does. A little bit hard to adjust it that way. Right. Then we can put our new disc on and get it to a point where it's nice and snug on the disc and we can only just get it on uh, and then adjust just this properly. So put the new disc on. Right, so here's our new disc, sealed in the box. Big old solid disc. Uh, right, so these have got painted centers, uh, but the disc itself is untreated, covered in rust protectant. So we're going to clean that off. So we'll clean off the disc brake side of it and also the um, handbrake bit. clean the front side when it's on the car. So from the old disc we need to take out this rubber plug. This is the handbrake adjusting port. So it just pops out there. We'll make sure we'll put that onto the new disc. And again we're going to line up our two two screws on the disc. They're kind of offset. So we'll put them to the, the bottom there. You'll see them on the on the disc there. So we want those pointed down. Perfect. Then we'll put in the retaining screws. I'll just use a dab of copper grease. Stop them getting stuck in there. You could put something on the um, back of the hub there, stop it rusting on, but can't be bothered. Just run those down. Snip them up. Done. And clean off this side of the rotor.
Right, then we need to adjust our handbrake. So our wheel turns freely there, so what we need to do... Right, so about tight. One more. Right, that's locked solid now, so I need to back it off five turns. Five clicks, not five turns. That feels about right. Now we'll just try a handbrake. Yep, that works. Alright, so the handbrake's adequately adjusted, and then we'll pop our bung back in. And we've prepared our caliper carrier, so we pop that back on. Right, so these ones are apparently 70 newton meters. I don't even talk them properly. Done. I right, so these are the pads that look pretty flash. I've got this kind of breaking strip on the on the on the front there. Uh, what I always do is put a little bit of copper grease on wherever metal touches metal. For the ears of the... Not a lot. And this one's also where the piston pushes so I'll put copper grease where that would touch the pad. Just like that. And put that one in without touching anything. One in. And the other one, same again. Put our caliper back on. So again, there's these ears of the caliper here that will touch that, that pad. So just put a little bit of grease on there. Stop it being noisy. And put our caliper back on. Our two bolts. We can talk these, these are 30 newton meters, according to my information. Right, 
we can go and press up the brake pedal. There we go. And they're on. So uh, wheels on, lower it down, and we'll uh, see what it's like. Talk our wheel nuts, 105 newton meters, according to my info. So after retracting those pistons, our fluid level is Hang on the max so we can do our lid back up. Right, so we're at 293,915 kilometres. Let's pump the brake pedal, make sure it's nice and firm, pop it into gear, let's go for a wee test drive. We're on a slight hill here, so I'll just put the handbrake on. That's better, the handbrake holds. It never used to hold because I'd never adjusted it, but um, it works really well. Holds us on a hill, never used to hold us on the flat. Head home. <laughs> So there you go, not too bad. That's how I did the brakes on my 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe. Uh, yeah, <laughs> don't let them get down quite that low. Um, yeah, a couple of things you saw there. We got a stuck caliper pin. I had a stuck one on the front too. Only car I've ever had in New Zealand with a stuck caliper pin. Uh, so yeah, look out for those and the handbrake adjustment. If you have a thing that's different to normal, um, but yeah, not overly difficult. Wind it up till it, you can't turn it, back it back five clicks, job done. As you saw, handbrake holds well on a hill, never used to. Uh, in terms of Durotec pads and discs, they seem pretty good quality. Uh, as I said, never used them before, not a sponsor, but that's the ones I chose for a mixed garage. And um, see how they last. So there we go, comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you for some more Hyundai stuff or whatever's coming next. I think Hyundai stuff's coming again shortly, but then we've got other stuff coming too, so uh, look out for that. Cheers.